Greetings viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk and this is a video response of sorts to my friend Cult of Dusty and his video How to Get Out of the Friend Zone. I'm not really uh, making this as a retort to Dusty's video, more of a, just a, as a reaction to the topic he was talking about because um, uh, Dusty's video, I'm going to link in the description below, uh, is quite entertaining and uh, some of my viewers might find his sense of humor a bit brash or even offensive, but I, I like him. And I think uh, despite his uh, delivery, he does make some pretty good points in the video, which I wanted to address here. Um, first of all, uh, I've said many times in videos in the past that my four closest friends here in the UK are all women. And it's probably a coincidence. I say probably because I'm not 100% sure. It's probably a coincidence that these women are, all four of them, absolutely beautiful to look at. Do I find them physically attractive? Of course I do. I've got a pair of eyes and I'm heterosexual. Do I want to be in a relationship with any of the four of them? No. Have I flirted to try to gauge their level of interest? Not really. Not as such. Um, I think it's okay when you're just friends with someone to acknowledge that they're attractive but not to pursue it. Does that make any sense? I think it does. I think uh, when women are friends with other women and you know one of them looks particularly good, you know they don't mind saying, oh you look gorgeous tonight or oh my god you look so hot, but they're not necessarily flirting with them. And it's the same for me. I mean you know if I'm going out with my friend Jen for example and she looks amazing I don't mind telling her so and she knows 100 percent for sure that it's not some kind of come on. I think if you're going to be in the friend zone, you have to be a genuine friend. Um, if you're going to be in the friend zone, in the hope, you're sort of, you, you think you're in like a waiting pen, hoping that when uh, she runs out of guys that are going to treat her poorly, that she'll realize that you've been treating her really well all this time and maybe she should have gone out with you and now she will. I think that is incredibly naive and like Dusty says, you're just opening yourself up for a lot of pain because chances are hot that a woman knows how far she's going to let you go in the first 60 seconds of meeting you. If your look doesn't do it, uh, maybe 60 seconds is too quick. Maybe you need five minutes so that you get a chance to open up your mouth and she gets to gauge something of your personality. Be that as it may, uh, one way or the other, we're talking about a very short window of opportunity for you to make the kind of impression which makes you attractive to a woman. Uh, and if you basically fail at that first hurdle, you should either get out of the race completely or accept being in the friend zone and be a genuine friend. Being a genuine friend means A, rule number one, you never hit on your friend. And I don't just mean hit on them as in, you know, make forward statements. I also mean you don't say things like when, when, when she's had a hard time with her boyfriend or this guy she's interested in or whatever and you don't come out and say, I would never treat you like that. I would treat you like a princess. All that kind of crap, okay? I know it happens. And it's, you know, and maybe the woman you're saying it to is patient with you because, you know, she likes you and doesn't want to be horrible to you because you guys are trying to be friends. But you're not really trying to be friends. You're trying to get in her pants. You're just trying to play the long game. And as Dusty intimated in his video, playing the long game almost never works. So either be a friend or jog on, right? Just jog on. There's, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Now I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of being in the friend zone. That's something that Dusty didn't really mention in his video at all. You know, as far as Dusty's concerned, being in the friend zone is a, a penalty box, whereas I see uh, being in the friend zone is kind of like the grand prize. You see, I don't think of being just friends with a woman as some sort of consolation prize. I think of it as the grand prize because when a woman treats you as a friend the same way she would treat her female friends, you've actually been elevated above most guys in her eyes. That's my opinion. I like the fact that I've got beautiful friends who I can go out with and hang out with and uh, share my life with without any of the risks of heartbreak. They're never going to break my heart. I'm never going to break their heart because that's not the nature of our relationship. And here's another thing which uh, nobody likes to talk about out loud, but when I'm out with my beautiful friends, 
any one of the four of them that I'm thinking of, if I go out with them dancing, say, or, or drinking and dancing or whatever, other beautiful women in the room notice that I'm with a beautiful woman, and believe me, that makes an impression. And it's not a bad impression. So, you know, there's different ways to play the long game, but you don't have to play the long game uh, when it comes to this person who's your friend. Rule number one, never hit on your friends. Rule number two, be a genuine friend. In other words, it's okay for you. A friendship is a two-way street. It's okay for you to talk about your shit as well. If all you get out of the relationship is to hear about her emotional baggage, but you don't get to talk about any of yours, that's not really a friendship. You're there for her convenience. You're an emotional tampon. And if that's something you can live with, good luck with that. Um, yeah, plus, you know, my female friends uh, are pretty astute. And when we're out together, uh, you know, if there's a woman that uh, has their eye on me, my friends will tell me so because, you know, I'm pretty oblivious to that kind of thing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty simple fucker, really, when it comes to uh, this type of thing. And so, you know, my friends will say, hey, so-and-so over there is checking you out. What do you think? And they might even arrange to introduce me to people and stuff like that because my female friends want me to find someone to be with. They, you know, they were genuine friends. And that's the ticket right there. Genuine friendship. If, if you can't say things to your female friends that you can say to your male friends, they're not really your friends. You're not really there as a friend. You're there with an ulterior motive. And women are pretty astute. You know, they, they, they aren't the kind of people who don't realize you fancy them. You know, chances are hot. If you really fancy a woman, she knows it. Almost always. So don't sit there and pretend you don't if you do. And if you do and you're not getting the response you want, don't stick around. I think Dusty was right about that. One final point I wanted to make, and this is going to be a little bit uh, brutal, I suppose, but it's worth making. I think no one ever talks about the fact that this kind of issue works both ways. In Dusty's video, he sort of acts like, you know, uh, all, basically men get their feelings trampled on by women who put them in the friend zone and, 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 and they allow themselves to be sort of emotionally tortured by the fact that this woman doesn't want to be with you but even though you're being like super super nice to them and and taking them places and spending money on them and spending time with them and blah 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 and they still don't want to be with you and isn't that really painful well yeah sure but there's another side to the same sort of thing uh, I mean how many guys do you know whether you're male or female how many guys do you know who will get with a chick have sex with them straight away and as soon as they get the pussy they jog on they move on that's it. They're not interested anymore. I used to go out with a girl who, woman, who had a, a teenage daughter. And uh, this is years back. And, and th this girl was brutally hot, no doubt about it. And she used to complain sometimes to her mom and me about how, uh, you know, she would go out with a guy and she basically give, give it up on the first date and then wonder why the guy never called. And. I said to her one day, uh, we have a phrase where I come from, why buy the farm when all you wanted was the milk? See, if all a guy is interested in is getting his dick wet and you give it to him, well, he's got no reason to keep on pursuing it. And uh, he also probably, uh, whether it's right or wrong, loses a bit of respect for you because you gave it up so quick. It's similar in reverse when it comes to this whole friend zone business. If you're going to be someone who a girl can hang out with, if you're going to spoil her with presence and affection and, uh, and you know, be all that kind of stuff, if you're going to give her all the benefits of a relationship but not actually demand any of the uh, romantic aspects of the relationship, why should she give them to you when you're already giving her so much of what she wants from the relationship and she's still free to keep looking? Same thing, right? It happens both ways. So don't pretend, if you're a guy, don't pretend that this friend zone thing is just, oh, oh, poor me, poor me, bollocks, bollocks. Men and women both do it to each other. They just do it in different ways. Enough said. I want to thank you for watching this video. And uh, remember, good things happen to those who wait, but amazing things happen to people who just fucking go for it.